to Let's Chat, the Tennessee Valley's premier show focusing on lifestyle and entertainment with Jess Raby and Chip Chapman, bringing you smart shopping tips, community events, and the newest trends. Now, Let's Chat. Good morning, and we're glad you are here joining us as we head into the upcoming weekend. And we kind of start on a note this morning about our nation's military. Most of us agree that our military veterans need some assistance. Here's one lady who has gone way beyond that. She knows they need assistance. She's doing something about it and calling in some pretty big names, including yours. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Gretchen Smith. Gretchen is in charge of something called Code of Vets. First of all, Gretchen, good morning. Thank you, Chip, for having me here. It's such an honor, and I just want to say thank you for sharing our mission. I'm just so excited to be able to talk about what we're doing. Tell me what Code of Vets is. We are a free nonprofit for veterans. We are out on social media platforms. That's how we operate, uh, purely on social media. And we assist veterans uh, from across the nation and actually in every state. And, and I'm, I'm proud of it. <laughs> We've grown uh, tremendously. It's like a grassroots firestorm. And we assist veterans every day that are in crisis and need, uh, who have lost their jobs due to the uh, COVID shutdown, uh, veterans who are homeless or who have been struggling throughout their life since serving. We, we step in and we walk with them until they find long-term stability. And I raise funds when I share their story as an individual, as a human being, I make that heart connection with our donors and with our followers. And in, in that way, we are able to raise funding for the and for whatever it is that they need um, within a very quick amount of time. Tell me, boil it down for me, Gretchen, what led you to form this Code of Vets organization? What was the pivotal moment that you thought, I got to do something? My dad, uh, Sergeant Danny Smiley, lost his battle with PT. And I had some really powerful conversations um, before he passed his life. It was chaotic. It was really hard to watch my dad live. And it was even harder to say goodbye when he died. Uh, and when he did, I, I carried some of the words um, that were seared in my soul. And I knew I needed to do something. So now that my kids are grown and I have the time, uh, I, I'm energized. I'm, I, I'm so passionate about our community and, and the issues that we face because they are unique. Uh, and uh, my dad inspired me. I wanted to turn his tragedy, his tragic death, his service, his life into something into something beautiful, something powerful, and I have. One thing that Gretchen and I are going to tell you about this morning, and it's not an easy story to comprehend, and it's the one of Samuel M. Corbin. Uh, Mr. Corbin, a military veteran, 76 years old, out in Los, Los Angeles, California, sitting behind the wheel of his car, shot, killed, dead for no reason. This has got to stop. Our veterans uh, deserve to be respected, not to be hunted down and murdered. And, what, and one, of the, uh, one of the causes or one of the individuals you were trying to help is the family of Mr. Corbin. Um, right. You're trying to raise money for his funeral expenses. How much is that going to cost and how close are you to meeting that goal? Well, I believe the total is around eighty-four hundred dollars, and we have committed to four to five thousand, mm -hmm. and we're at three. We're at three thousand right now. Uh, we again, we put each individual story out. We share the story, and then it's up to the, you know, my followers. I like to call them my digital soldiers, and what they do is they share this message throughout all social media platforms until the mission is accomplished. So we are getting there. We still need a little bit more assistance to secure this uh, brother in arms funeral to, uh, to to alleviate some of the financial burden on the kids. And it's such an honor to do this too. This is our, our final um, uh, salute to this man who served our country. And I, it's just so humbling to be able to do this for Samuel. He was a good man, he was a great father. We've uh, spoken to his uh, kids on the phone. They are beautiful, respectful men and women. And they are so appreciative for what Code of Vets is doing. You have also gotten the attention of our uh, mutual friend, Charlie Daniels, country superstar entertainer who has long been a supporter of the military and its veterans. Uh, Charlie also has his own unique method, his own unique reach out to the veterans, yet he's willing to help you out in Code of Vets. Tell me how that came to pass. 
Well, you know what? His partner and longtime business manager, David Corley, I believe that they've been together 47 years, started monitoring me on Twitter and realized the impact that Code of X was having. We were growing quickly. Uh, you know, we have a great vetting system in place and we are assisting good men and women. And so he started watching and he contacted me, contacted me and reached out and he said, Gretchen, I've never quite seen anybody assisting veterans in the manner that you're doing it. It's, it's something new. It's creative. Uh, I think, I think we want to be a part of this. So, you know, we, we formed a friendship, uh, you know, I was finally introduced to Charlie and, and, and especially during this COVID crisis, Charlie started recognizing, recognizing that we were being flooded with veterans requesting help, beautiful, great men and women who've always worked, always earned a paycheck, all of a sudden, no job, no paycheck, and waiting on state benefits, unemployment checks. And we literally had veterans who were hungry sitting with um, notifications, shut off notifications for water, utilities, you name it. And he wanted to get involved because he knew that we could not cover all of these vets. So what he did was he gave us his name to use. He partnered with us. And since that partnership, I have to say, Chip, oh my gosh, April 17th, we have raised probably roughly $525,000 and helped roughly 530 wow. veterans and their families, not just the veteran, but we've covered the entire family. That's amazing. What? That is an ad <laughs> it's it a is. Firestorm. It, it truly <laughs> is amazing. And what you are doing is amazing. And uh, a group like Gretchen's, Code of Vets, when you say thank you for your service, it's far more than words. You're actually doing it and helping all aspects of vets as much as is financially possible. And even when you consider the staggering statistic that 22 veterans every day, 22 veterans every day are committing suicide, we have to step up and help. Gretchen, thank you so much. You will be joining us again here, either digitally or when things open up a little bit, we want to have you come down here because you're just in Murfreesboro. So we want to have you That's come right. join us in I person and let's, uh, let's see what we can do to further your mission. Gretchen thank Smith, you. thank you very much. And again, your father is proud. Find out more about Gretchen and the great work she does. You can go to twitter.com slash code of vets or their main website, codeofvets.com. Stay with us. We'll be right back.